What we have here is an engine out of the 2014 Passat. Uh, this engine had a uh, massive turbo failure. And if you can see inside there, which you can't, the impeller just wiggles around like crazy. Uh, you might be able to see it. A lot of movement there. The impeller's actually been scraping the walls of the turbo. And I don't know whether it hydrolocked or whether it ran low on oil, but the engine was making massive noises. And so the customer bought a used engine and brought it to us to install. This is a CKRA letter coated engine. And we installed the engine in it, and the car is done and running. Uh, we have an exhaust leak right now but we're, we're, that we're going to take care of. But the purpose of this video is to show the coating on the, of the injectors. Now if you look underneath there you can see some numbers on those injectors. And those are the, that's the coating required because each injector is slightly different so the computer needs to compensate for the minor differences. So you do that with VAGCOM and I, I'll show you how to do that. So out here is the car that we installed the engine on. Greasy fingerprints on it. I have to get some Windex. But uh, if you uh, take a look, these injectors have numbers on them, and what we want to do is write those numbers down in order to code the injectors in VAGCOM. And just for comparison basis, I wrote down the original numbers. For instance, that one there is BSZ1C5, etc. And that is BSZ1C5. And then those are the other ones. That's number one, two, three. Okay, in order to uh, code these injectors, you might want to take a look at my website. I have an article on my website here regarding how to do it. It's in the how to section. Go down to neat fixes. And then common rail TDI injector change. And it gives you some basic directions here. And it says in the notes here, you should change some stuff, but uh, we didn't uh, loosen the injectors. We just changed the whole engine. So uh, you go to long adaptation, as it says here. And then you go to uh, group 71, or channel 71. And you, when you click read, it's going to show you uh, the original number. And then down here, you would type in your new number off the injector like that and after you do that you click test and if it's a valid number off an injector you will get uh, uh, confirmation to say save and then you click yes and uh, let's go through that on our car okay let's get these injectors coded I'll turn the car on And we'll go into our engine. And we go to adaptation. And it wants us to select a channel. And I said from my website it was 71, but this is a UDS car. See that UDS thing there? So I don't think that 71 applies here. But we do, uh, the, the drop down box gives us that. And that BSZ1C5B is what was on our original original injectors based on the sheet. So we want to change that to uh, AS8R3N3. So I'll punch that in here. AS8R3N3. And then you click do it. And it's asking for confirmation there. And it says this appears to be an uninitialized controller. Now, you want to experiment with these things right here. I'm not sure whether we need to do this or not. Um, we'd go back and we would, uh, we, we can do yes, we can do no, we can do cancel. But what we're going to do, we could go back and we could enter in a workshop code here. But I've already uh, encountered this before and I wrote down the solution. And the problem here is... You have to use capitals here. And uh, I wanted to show the mistake. If you uh, do go through the process here, well, let me go ahead and show it. I want to click do it there. I'm going to click yes. 
And once I go through, do, uh, I'll click yes there. It says request out of range. And at that point, I get all A's in here. It literally changes it. It will not go back to the factory injector that it had before. Um, but what you do have to do is just enter capitals in here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and go back to the original coding. B, oh, let's do capitals here. B, S is in Sam, Z, 1, C, 5, B. And then you click do it, click yes, and it accepts the request. It, it entered that automatically, I assume. So, and now our uh, original coding is back in there. So let's just, I, I was just doing that uh, uh, to show and let's uh, change it to our new coding, which is AS using capitals, of course, eight R N. No, I'm sorry, R three N three. <clears throat> and then we click do it. And it accepted the request. And so now our stored value has changed to our new injector. Now there's one more problem that we have with these and I wrote down the solution to it also. And that is the reason for this video. To, so you don't have to struggle the way I struggled when I went through this. So uh, I'm gonna change it to our second injector. Uh, now we know to use capitals. So we're entering in 71RHZ51. And I click do it, and yes, and it says request out of range. And it takes us to all these A's again. Now the reason I made a mistake there, and I did the mistake on purpose, is because our number said 71RHZ51. And let me show you, I'll take you back on camera and show you what I, what I mean. So here is our number two injector. Maybe a little bit hard to read this for you folks. It says 71RH251. But as I zoom in, if you look close, if you take a close look, that first one is not a one. Compare that closely to the last one. So our 71RHZ51 is not 71. It's 7L seven or 7I. Seven um, from memory, it's 7I. I didn't write down that, but, it, uh, but anyway, that's a capital I, not a 1. And if you enter that as a 1, that's going to make it impossible because it's, it's an illegal number. And uh, that's what I just demonstrated for you. Let's go back to the computer. Okay, back at the computer now. I'm going to try and enter this in with a 1 there again. So we have 7, 1, RH, got to be capitals, Z, 51. Now this second 1 is definitely a 1, you can tell. So we're going to click do it. Yes. Request out of range. It's just not going to allow it, and it's going to force us to these A's here. You don't have to change it back to the original value. You can change it straight to the new value, even when it has these A's. So let's assume that uh, 1 is a L and not a 1. So we'll enter in 7 capital L. I don't like the way that looks, but let's try it anyway. RH251 and click do it. Yes, and once again, it's a request out of range. So, but once we try it with 7IRHZ51, and then click do it, yes, it accepts it. And then it goes back in, you can, you can verify that it's accepted it there. I'm going to go ahead and code the other ones real quick. Now that, now that we've covered all the mistakes that we can make, we know how to do it. Uh, so we'll go to number three. And H Z five one, and then click do it. Yes, it accepts it. And then it goes back in. You can, you can verify that it's accepted it there. I'm going to go ahead and code the other ones real quick. Now that, now that we've covered all the mistakes that we can make, we know how to do it. Uh, so we'll go to number three. 
and our number three injector is AA NV 2W2 and click do it. Yes. Oop, made a mistake there somewhere. Let me try again. And let me type in AAH V2W2. Helps if you type in the right numbers here. So, injector four. And we have a one. Nope, it's not a one, it's an I. HM four I one. Could they make it any more confusing? I don't think they could. And click do it. And it shows the correct one. Now, you might raise the question of, if you're having trouble with this like I was, do we need to enter security access? And you do not. Now, I tried that, but it never helped. If you enter 27971, it says adaptation enabling, but you don't need that for the uh, injector adaptation. There may be certain things that you need that for, but injector adaptation isn't one of them on this car. <laughs> I can't say every, for every car out there. Uh, Tureg, TDI might be different. Earlier ones might be different, later ones might be different. Uh, they throw always throw a curveball at you, and that's the purpose of these videos, to help you avoid that curveball and not to get hit by the pitch. Okay, if you uh, enjoyed this video or you learned anything from it, be sure and click the like button. And if you want to donate to the continued production of these videos, find the donate icon on my website at www.kansascitytdi.com. And uh, if you want to watch more of my videos, there'll be one right there and one right there. And don't forget to subscribe right there. Thanks for watching.